Oh, no. What the f You look like it was a difficult task. It was a difficult task. We got the bars installed and man do they look good. But first, I need to bring to your attention. Today we have a big video, a long time coming. We want to go faster, but we need to be safe. So you guys can see it right over here. We're doing a Watson cage, yes. Now, before we begin this video, I do want to really quickly touch on like why this cage instead of an 850 cert, if that's what the car needs. Will this car do eights at one point? Yeah, we're gonna have the power, but I mean, I just don't want bars over my head in a street car. At this point, I'm not ready for an 850 cert cage. Will that come eventually? Yes, but the nice thing about a Watson cage is we can remove it from the vehicle. This is a temporary solution just to get me by right now. A lot of people go ahead and blast me in the comments already. You're wasting your money. No, I don't think so. I think that it's better than nothing at all. It's gonna add a little bit of rollover protection. This is a Chromoly Watson cage. I don't know if we're gonna do the door bars yet. Probably gonna mount them up and see how it's gonna work with the stock seats and everything. But in a street car, most will agree you probably don't want you know halo bars over your head I don't want to go through the dash right now because an 850 cert cage like a 10 point or even a 12 point is a lot of work but I think at the end of the day we can all agree that some protection is better than none at all and I'm gonna leave it at that so guys it's gonna be a lot of work I haven't done a roll cage install on a Mustang and uh, quite some time so the nice thing about the Watson cage though is it uses a lot of the factory mounting location for the main hoop so it's more or less going to be kind of easy so we hope anyway well, i appreciate you guys watching let's have some fun let's go you're building a race car this is still a street car i go to walmart and get groceries in this that's why i'm only doing that right now I'm how many other youtubers though that we watch with nothing at all i will say something the same people that probably kill me you for not putting a full cage in this car are probably one of the people that's going down the interstate doing 180 mile per hour without anything in the car Correct. At the drag strip too. So exactly. So we're being a little bit more safe than those guys. So it's a Watson cage. So the quality is going to be top notch. Unplug the negative on the battery because we're going to be messing with some wires and stuff like that. We're going to get these seats out of here and the rest is pretty much straightforward in the beginning. We're just going to gut the back of the interior. We're going to have to mock up and modify the, the plastics over here and my uh, seam components were seat elite. So check on our boy Drew doing the same cage. He's going a little bit more race car than me. Obviously you can tell the big drag wing, got the Kirky, no passenger seat, a VMP Odin, same as me. I'll be going back and forth and help you out a little bit. He's going to help me out a little bit. So two cages in one day. Before we pull the battery, we get these seats out. Do, 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 do. Chop, 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 chop. Ah, where are we going? Yeah, I'm gonna have to move around, relocate a lot of this stuff. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Yeah, they're not bad. They've been out a few times. Okay. Get a trim tool. I'm gonna need a, that looks like an eight millimeter. The nice thing about the Watson is it kind of sits right here and it uses some of these factory, looks like 13 millimeter bolts here. The sides actually go into the side here. So it's where it's bracing. Some roll cages actually go through the floorboard right here. You can get by with it, but I don't think that it's like the safest thing in the world. It needs to be like a structure of the car. So have a little bit more side impact protection with the Watson right here going into the sides and then the back legs to the main hoop go right back down here. Some of them go right here on other brands, which is not really structured the car versus the brace and everything that lives right down here. I think that the Watson for what it is, is a, a safer product for what we're going to need it for. Uh, versus some of the other ones with like door swing outs and stuff like that. So nothing wrong with the other companies. I really like them, but I think that they're more show than, you know, purposeful. Part of the main hoop, the legs that uh, secure right here lives underneath of all this. So we're going to have to scoot it. Appreciate it. Uh, we're going to have to maneuver everything underneath of, uh, all this wire and then all this will live on top. So that's kind of why we're taking all this apart. You see these indentions? Yeah. So that's kind of, it's gonna go right there and I'll have to relocate this box, uh, maybe in the center or something like that. That leg needs to go underneath all that crap. Are you in? Huh? No, not here. No. What the f A little bit of uh, effort, a lot of effort, honestly. Um, we have the main hoop here, but this is how it works. So 
the bolt holes over there, the factory ones, is where it goes into the side. And you can see that he had a lot of, it adds reinforcement from like side impact as opposed to just going straight into the floor, which is actually thin metal back there. So I like this, this design and everything better. Of course you can weld these in. We're not doing that right now, but this looks good. But uh, the reason we didn't go four point is because at some point I might actually use the door bars and they just only offer this color in a six point. But at least it's chromoly, it's light. And I think with the main hoop only and no sidebars, we're probably only adding about 40 to 45 pounds of weight. You know, the weight of like a stock seat. So we pull that, we're just basically transferring weight at that point for track use, but we do have a little bit more protection going on. So I really like it so far. So everything is a very, very precise fit. So word of the wise though, I mean, it's good definitely get a two person job, but getting the wires and everything over, uh, the, this area here is, um, it took a while, honestly. Such a precise fit, but that is how you want it at the end of the day. Again, factory mounting points, but back here, we are gonna have to mark up and drill into the back there. So that's gonna take a little bit more effort and precision, but so far so good though. Let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, this is pretty cool. Okay, much later in the day. Um, skipped a lot more than I really wanted to at this point. Wasn't gonna do a how-to video anyway, but you know, just gotta give you guys like an overview, but we're making progress here still. I got some of the holes in the back drilled. I think the measurement's pretty spot on, but we're about to find out if I'm right or wrong. Before we start drilling, measure, 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 measure. Right in between the lines, that's like a support brace that goes from one side of the car to the other, just like up there where it ties in. So it's supposed to become part of the car. Now again, if you weld, it's gonna have a lot more rigidity, but for a bolt-in uh, solution, I'm really digging the kit so far. So we're gonna go in here and see if my math is wrong. All right, everybody, at this point in the video, cross, oh, I can't do it, cross your fingers. When you're drilling, yeah, make sure that you're not going through any lines underneath the car, double check that fuel lines, especially stuff like that. My advice is use a step bit, um, which is one of the things I recommend in the instructions is use a step bit instead of a long drill bit because it'll stop you as it's going through. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, honestly. Hey. You look like it was a difficult task. It was a difficult task. <laughs> a difficult task. <laughs> yeah, these, these are not going in right now. <laughs> not doing it, no. No, I just took my time. It's really, it didn't help that it. it's really hot out here, but. All right, that's actually a good question. Why did I not get to four point? Because I wanted red, but why not four point? because these do have the uh, the legs if I do need them, and it's chrome molly. So 371 to 73, I think, shipping weight on the chrome molly six point, but if we don't run the front legs, then I think we're only adding about 40 to 45 pounds to the car, which is about like pulling that seat. But the other one, the four point is made of steel and it weighs every bit of like 70 some pounds. But I think uh, it'll be okay for like NMRA and some stuff like that, but I think it looks good. Again, added protection, it looks really good. Let's get the seats back in it, get the final result, what it looks like. Pretty happy with it. Jamming out. <laughs> this guy. You silly. So is it gonna stay running this time? Hopefully. Now that that's fixed, I wonder if I got something else going on. Oh, you never know. Huh? I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Stand right in front of there. Okay, let's hear it. Ready? Yep. You hear a little bit. When you pull it down, when you pull it down, you're gonna really hear it, yeah. It's really loud with the squat exhaust. Well, now you got a Corsa. Yeah, now he's got the Corsa. Oh, we will. I can hear it in here. Definitely louder. With the Odins, they don't really sound, you know, but. That's just a whipple. Pay just, no just, to the, just a whipple. It just happened. I got to clean it. No, that's fine. You got a little. We are uh, day two. What's up with my camera? We got the bars installed, and man, do they look good. But first, I need to bring to your attention, guys. We got a bunch of whipples around us. Look at this one. We're here hanging out at HBR. And Ken's got another customer that came in. He's gonna finish up a little bit of this uh, Gen 5 uh, Whipple 3.0 install on this 2018 Mustang. Good, but speaking of Whipples, guys, did you know there's only a few days, and I mean just a slight few days, left to enter at stangmode.com for your chance to win a brand new Mustang GT, fully built, Cervini's everything, Whipple supercharged. Enter to win, but use promo code Xander13 at checkout it's gonna really help you out. Save a little bit of money, some extra entries, your chance to win. All right guys, let's give our giveaway number eight the test it needs. This is a Whipple supercharged drag wheel Mustang, which you can win by going to sanglo.com for $1 entry. But now it's time. It's time to put up or shut up. It's time to see what this can do with the drag strip. 90 degree heat.
All right, guys, we did it. How do you like that? 10.5 in this heat. That's faster than the stock Hellcat and faster than the 2020 D500, which is like, these are almost $100,000 cars where you can get this car for just $1. Go to stangmo.com, grab some merch, and to win, this killer. Zana 13 to check out, but guys, I digress. Let's go show you the roll bar, but I really just don't want you to miss out on an opportunity to win a brand new Mustang GT, Whipple supercharged. But all right, let's go show you the goodies on the Red Queen here. Let's go. He's getting a roll cage, roll bar, whatever you want to call them, but mine, forgive me, the car is dirty. We were in and out of this car, crawling around in the dirt. I did not put the roll bars in on the side, the door bars, I did not do it right now but again i bought this because you cannot get the four point in chromoly and i wanted chromoly i wanted a little bit of a lighter weight but i also wanted the uh, ability to run door bars at some point if i want to but you know you can install them you can take them in and out the way that they attach here just like in the back but you can see we've got our seat uh delete back here and show you how this looks again i need to vacuum and clean it up just a little bit dirty back here you know, fresh install. I kind of wish it was red. Let me know in the comments, but I mean, it's kind of stealthy. I like the gray. I made some pretty good cuts down here. I didn't have to modify the bottom of this at all. I love the way that it bolts into the side here, into the structure of the car, using the factory hardware. Well, it gives you new hardware, but the factory mounting locations, you don't really lose your trunk space. So in the back, we have our ice tank and we don't really give up any trunk space whatsoever. It's a nice bolt down design. You can weld these if you want to. And then, uh, I'm going to get some more felt carpet to go around there and clean that up so it looks good from you know this view as well it's kind of interesting to look over your shoulder and see some bars there but i mean this is kind of the view here it is a pretty tight fit which is a good thing you know you don't want it to be significantly shorter it is designed to protect you at the end of the day i've owned caged cars before and I would never recommend that as something that you would put on a street for a duration of time. If this is like a primary day, daily driver, which for, for me this is, uh, it's kind of tough to be able to have your cake and to be able to eat it too. And I kind of feel with something like this, you can get by in most cases pretty well with having a roll bar or something in the back. You know, again, this this is more temporary eventually this this car will get a 850 cert cage when we start going faster and faster and faster and faster and like i said at the beginning of the video but this is something that is better than nothing and i just don't want bars over my head if this was an 850 cage it would have a bar coming straight over here i'm a taller guy i'm 5'11 i've got the seat down as low as it will if my fist were a bar it would live about right here and i could hit my head that is why for me i do not want in a daily car a eight point cage or a 12 point cage yet i'm i'm pleased and thrilled with the way that the job came out i have not done an installation like this in some time um but i think uh excellent job well done from watson a very tight fitting roll bar in the back of the car here it looks stealthy looks good looks mean aggressive Again, we didn't do it for looks we did it for a little bit more safety i appreciate all you guys watching the content the videos and um yeah we're gonna get to work on drew's car now to install the same roll bar in his the difference on his though is he is going to i think install the door bars kind of time consuming i wanted to really pay attention to my cuts i was a guinea pig for my installation now we get to go in here and help him out and, uh, god bless you all and i'll see you guys in the next video bye